Hey everybody, it's Dr. Jonah Yakel, your natural healthcare practitioner, and I am super excited to be sharing with you today on one of my personal favorite subjects, and that's brain health. And specifically, we're going to focus on the aspect of brain health, Alzheimer's, and dementia. The reality is, is that Alzheimer is the fastest growing disease process in our country today. In fact, it's set to triple over the next two decades, and they're suspecting that at this point, one in four people or 25% of all Americans are going to be diagnosed with Alzheimer's at some point in their life. And I think that Alzheimer's is a particularly scary disease process because unlike something even like cancer, where you know we all know cancer survivors, we know how, how devastating cancer can be, and we certainly know they can be terminal, but we all know survivors. On the other hand, up until just recently, we've never heard of an Alzheimer's survivor. We've never heard or known anybody who's actually been diagnosed with Alzheimer's and recovered. And I think what's especially grim is that there is very little advancement in the area of Alzheimer's. In fact, the best drugs that we're using are a decade old at this point. So we're, we're not even coming out with new technology or advances to help people who are dealing with Alzheimer's. On the other hand, the good news is, is we are becoming more and more aware of what's causing Alzheimer's and what is it the root cause or the source. And of course, this shouldn't be surprising to anyone who's been tuning in to, to any of my videos or who comes into the office, it's inflammation. And we know that inflammation, at least most of us already know that inflammation is at the root cause of just about every disease process, including things like heart disease, and cancer and even mood disorders like anxiety and depression but we're now recognizing that inflammation is not only impacting our body but it's impacting our brain which would make sense our brain is part of our body so yes of course it does that however we also are becoming aware that there is a source for inflammation so okay great so inflammation is what's causing the alzheimer's and dementia but then the bigger question becomes, well, what's causing the inflammation? And when it comes to Alzheimer's and dementia, I think this is probably the most exciting aspect of this is that we know a tremendous amount about what could be potentially driving that inflammation. And it comes down to one of four categories. So we know that anybody who is struggling with Alzheimer's or dementia or it runs in their family or maybe they're just concerned about their brain health, the first thing you need to think about is, well, how do I manage inflammation? And that's what today's video is about, is one, we can categorize the source or the cause of Alzheimer's or dementia into one of four categories, or, or it could be multiple of those categories. So when I'm working with a client, the goal is to find out, well, which of these categories do you fall into, and what do we need to strengthen or balance in order to not only maintain your brain health, but to improve your brain health. And so the first one is just inflammation period. There, this is referred to as hot type of Alzheimer's. It gets categorized as hot because it's caused by inflammation. And specifically, it's associated with the gene called the APOE4 gene. And it turns out that about 70% of people who have been diagnosed with Alzheimer's have this gene. This might sound really bad for anybody who has this gene. However, the good news is we also know that our genes are no longer our destiny. Just because we have the gene does not necessarily mean we're going to get the process. All this means if you have the APOE, APOE4 gene in your, um, in your DNA or in your family's uh, DNA, that you are more prone to higher levels of inflammation. Now, the good news, again, is that lifestyle changes can dramatically drive down inflammation. And this has to do with managing stress. This has to do with getting good sleep. This has to do with, with knowing which foods to eat and supplementation. So this is always a great starting place when I'm working with people is we need to find out, are you APOE4 positive? Because if so, then we know that by making some, some big changes to your lifestyle, we can dramatically change the likelihood uh, or outcome of Alzheimer's and dementia for you. So that's type one, inflammation primarily associated with the APOE4 gene. The second type has to do with blood sugar. And this is referred to as sweet. 
So the sweet form of Alzheimer's or dementia, we're now correlating that the higher someone's blood sugar is, the more prone or more likely they are to experience Alzheimer's and dementia, that this can drive the disease. Also, so when someone's coming in, we need to determine what is your blood sugar? What is the status? What's your glucose? What's your, H, uh, your, your A1C numbers? And if this is a player, then getting people on a low carb diet is gonna be a game changer for them. And even getting them into mild states of, of ketosis, so a ketogenic diet can transform brain health. So, so the first is hot, and that is inflammation related. The second one is sweet, and this is blood sugar. Now the third one has to do with hormones. So we tend to know that, you know, as men and women, as we get older, our hormones tend to start to drop off, and there's a variety of reasons that they're doing that. Um, but for a lot of people, when these hormones like testosterone and estrogen and progesterone, those hormones are actually very brain protective. So when they start dropping off, not only does the body start breaking down, but the brain also starts breaking down. So for the people who fall in this subset, it's about finding out, well, what is the state of your hormones? Are they healthy? Are they balanced? Are they in abundance? Are they low? Because we know by supporting the body's natural production of healthy hormones, we can actually strengthen the brain and again, help prevent, and in some cases, start reversing the signs and symptoms of Alzheimer's and dementia. And this is referred to as atrophic form of Alzheimer's. Atrophic meaning shrinking. So what's literally happening is the body is lacking the building blocks that it needs to build a healthy brain. Now, the fourth form, which is, is primarily the most challenging one to, to deal with, is it has to do with environmental toxins. So any kind of heavy metal exposures, uh, mold exposures, even things like viruses like Epstein-Barr or mono or bacteria like Lyme, these can all participate in an inflammatory state that ultimately results in a condition where the immune system goes haywire and the body becomes uncontrollably inflamed. And this impacts not only the body, but it impacts the brain. So we start getting cognitive changes. And of course, these people are again being diagnosed with Alzheimer's and dementia, which they don't technically have. What they have is a chronic inflammatory condition that is resulting again in the brain getting damaged. Now this is the type that is most commonly associated with an early type of onset. So people in their 20s even, 30s and 40s, starting to notice changes in cognition. Maybe they're starting to uh, forget words or, or names more frequently, or they're slurring their speech, or they're having uh, brain fog, or, or maybe they're noticing other neurological issues, like maybe some numbness or, or some tingling, or noticing that their hormones are decreased, or maybe they're not sleeping as well. But this one is going to hit people in a variety of different manners, but it is also going to result in a form of Alzheimer's and dementia. So if brain health is of importance to you. If you are concerned about your brain health, or maybe you just want to prevent your brain health, or maybe you have loved ones, people in your family who have gone through this, and you've watched it, and you know how terrifying it is, and you want to do everything you can to prevent it. The great news is we know so much more about this disease than we did even five years ago. And when I'm working with people in my office, the goal, again, is to find out, well, what is the trigger? What is the source? Is it inflammation? Is it blood sugar? Is it hormones? Or is it environmental toxins? Or potentially, you know, multiples of those. And we, there are tests that we can do for all four of those, so we can actually help find the source or the cause of the cognitive decline and start making changes. And this is something, again, if you have any friends or loved ones, or maybe even yourself, you're, you're curious or you're interested in supporting and strengthening your brain health, maybe you're fearful of the outcome of cognitive decline, dementia, and Alzheimer's, I would love to help you. There is so much that we can do. Please don't hesitate. If you're already showing signs, it doesn't get better. It just continually and gradually gets worse. In some cases, very quickly gets worse. So by all means, if you're not already working with somebody, when it comes to brain health, this is something I am passionate about. It is something I specialize in, and I would be more than happy to help support you in not only getting your body healthy, but getting your brain healthy as well.
I hope this has been useful for you and look forward to future videos. In fact, we're going to be having more coming down the line in the future. This is video number six in our series, which was a six video series, but stay tuned. We have a lot of exciting things coming up.